All right, so a little frustrated. Don't know what happened, but I'm in Worlds of Wonder. And I did all of this in one video and then found out for some reason the video cut off after six minutes. I think I had too much on my tablet, so we're going to try this again. And let's just get started. All right, um, let me blow it up here. There we go. So hopefully you'll get this. If not, there's no video on Wednesday. Okay, I am going to sit down because I don't have the strength to keep standing up. All right. Oh, this is Daffodil. These are the um, Crayola brand pencils. So bear with me and let's see if we can get this done again. <laughs> with the Daffodil, I'm doing just the most inner part of that face. I will probably come back with a pale, pale pink for that heart in the middle. I'm also going to do the top part of this, uh, about two thirds down, I guess. The wing, I really want to do in gold. And then um, also, I think I'm going to do this. I'm not sure about this. That's why I hadn't done it yet. Um, let me figure this out and then I'll come back and do a second video with the flowers and then we can finish up the um, peacock. Then I have regular yellow. So I'm going around again with this yellow. There we go. And in there just a bit, not much. And then I'm going to do the bottom of this part of the wing and up some. If I sound a little breathless, it's because I've already done this video once. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened, but anyway. Um, and then I'm going to use the same color and I'm going to come down through the middle. Okay, just that middle section here. Yeah, um, I'd given a health update and everything. <laughs> so anyway, I've left the house twice now since surgery. Um, I am doing better. I can cough now and it doesn't hurt. My chronic cough seems to be gone, so that's good. This is Harvest Gold, and I'm going to bring the Harvest Gold under the chin. And then on the outside, just enough that it's got that little bit of color there. So it looks tucked up underneath. And then I do it around here, just enough to make it look rounded. Okay? So go ahead and get that in. Yeah, um, I still tire quickly. I have not been able to sit and color in my chair, which has been discouraging. But um, yeah, each day is a little better. Friday I have my post-op of two weeks appointment and I'll go in and see how the doc says I'm doing. I've been following the rules so good, y'all. I've not been overdoing anything, so that's good. Um, Let's see what else has been going on. Yeah, I don't know. I've been in my own little world. I'm not on any pain meds. I'm not in pain. I'm just uncomfortable. So every now and then I'll feel a little pull. But it's just, I think, part of it at this point. It's part of having six hernias repaired at once. When you thought you were going in for one, maybe two. But would I do it again with the robotics and all? Yes, I would. So I'm still using this Harvest Gold. Yeah, I've got a really good surgeon. So yeah, I would definitely, definitely do all this again. I hope not to need to, but still. All right, so doing all this. Then I'm going to go from the Harvest Gold to 
um, tan. Now I'm not going to use tan up here on this. I am going to use it down here. Tan is one of those colors that you could kind of take it or leave it. You know, it's not it's not that different from Harvest Gold, but it's enough different that I put it in. Um, if you're just watching this the first time through, skip it. It's like I said, it's not that important because I'm going to go over the top of parts of that tan with this brown because I just don't think that the tan is dark enough. And again, I'm doing under here so that it looks like it's tucked up under. Same thing here. This is where I'm blending because I'm trying to do like a gold mix. And then I'm going to come up here and come just around under here, okay? Maybe come out just a little bit more, blend that out just a bit. Okay, um, let's see what else. Then I'm going to come in with the dark brown. The dark brown can really be your friend in Crayola. I'm going to put some right down in here. Just makes that really look like it's pushed back up under there. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and add a bit here. And then I'll add some right here. Then I'm going to come back in with my daffodil. Okay, that lightest shade that I used. And I'm going to blend everything. And look how that yellows it up. Okay, because I'm coming back in with light over the top. It's going to brighten all that up some. And just keep going until it gets blended enough to where you like it. You can always come back and play with it more. It's not finished till you say it's finished. Okay, so just play with it. And I could play more with that, but I'm not going to right now. Same thing here. I could just keep blending this. But you get the idea. That's why I always say, you know, start with a lighter hand. You can always get heavier, but it's harder to get it lighter. If you want that even more yellow, come back in with our second yellow and just go over the top. See how that just brightened up? Okay. Don't be afraid to layer your colors back and forth over each other. Now, I am going to come in with this Harvest Gold and do these circles. Now, it's up to you if you want to do um, more different colors in here. Peacocks have so many different colors, and they come in different colors. I would not do a white one. That would be awfully hard for it to actually grab that elegance and grace that a white peacock has. You use a lot of um, probably light, light blues and grays to make that happen and very little actual white. So, okay, so you're going to do all that all the way down. And then I'm going to come back. That was the Harvest Skull. Now I'm coming back with the light brown. And I'm going to do the tips of all of them. Go darker at the tip. And then just let it fade out. And then, like, this is underneath, so I went around the edge. This is underneath, go around that edge. This is underneath, go around the edge. That's off around the side. Okay, that's your main thing is see what's underneath or what is going around the side. But anyway, just do all the tips. Do that all the way to right there is where I believe they stop. All right, so do those. And then we're going to come in with our blues and greens. I am actually going to use that later. I am going to use 
this indigo blue. Now this has got a little bit of purple in it. I'm okay with that. And I am heavy handed, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get this colored in right there. I really should have set the timer on my phone for this, but I did not. And then we're gonna blend in, so very light through here. And then just blend. Okay, then I'm going to come in with another blue. This is true blue. Again, we are using Crayola pencils. The paper of Johanna Basford Books accepts the Crayola pencils really well. So you don't have to worry about that. Can you use other pencils? Yes. Use whatever pencils you want. I've just had a few people request that I go back to the basics. And um, the basics for me is going back to Crayola. And there's supposed to be, um, I think, a bigger new count, 150 count out now. So if you can get that one, then you might be getting even more pencils, different shades. Okay, this is the... Um, aqua green, so the lightest. So I'm going to come through here, do all of this, I love this color, really, really nice color, okay? Then I'm going to come over, and this is where I start doing all these feathers. Solid at the bottom, lighter pressure at the top. So I showed you how you do two that are underneath. Here's one that is kind of on top. Here's another one that's right up on top. I'm just tired. I get winded. And I even had a nap today. Oh. oh, well. And then I am going to use um, teal. And I'm going to come right under this edge. Makes this look like it's tucked up underneath the neck area. Okay, so get that in there. Just added some to the other side. And then all of this down here is also in the teal. And again, get reference pictures, y'all. Pull some pictures and look at the different colors of peacocks and figure out what colors you like. I just happen to like these colors, so it works for me. And then everything that's tucked up underneath is going to get this darker and then float it out, just blend it out. See, that's underneath. This is all underneath, tucked up under there, so it's a little darker. And then I'll blend it out, tucked up under, and then blend it out. Okay, so that's more or less what we're doing. And then I am going to come back with, good, it's still recording. Yeah, I stood up. I'm not going to bend over very much for this, but I am going to come back with my lightest shade and blend here. And then I would blend all of these, just make sure that that's all blended nice. And then I came back also with that... Um, dark brown. There it is. And I wanted this a little darker so it looked like it was really tucked back up in there. So just go at it real, real light. You can always add more. It's harder to take it away. Okay. What do you think? 
So this, again, is the whole picture. Um, the reds that I used for the strawberries and the cherries, I used the regular red. I used, um, well, this says red. Oh, it's red orange and red. Okay. And then I used maroon. Okay, so I used those and then just a little bit of that dark brown again down through underneath there. All right, my um, greens are palm leaf. Does anybody know if, if Crayola sells the pencils individually? I need to look that up online. So yeah, palm leaf and then... Oh, let me see. Jade green. And then forest. Now, I did these kind of different. On this one, I went dark in the middle because there's so much veinage. And on this, I went dark more around the outside. I just thought it would change it up some. So whatever you pick on that is fine. Um, what are your suggestions for this? Should it be these colors or should it be these colors let me know the area on the back just leave me a comment the area on the back should be should it be golds and yellows should it be teals should it be the blues because that's another option so when I come back next time we will do this and then probably these flowers all right Okay, I gotta go get off my feet. So, hope you've enjoyed um, the. For, oh, for you that get my video actually sent to you in emails because you're on the subscribe and everything, you'll have to actually go to my site if you want to do any kind of a donation. That about button is up under there, and then you click it, and it's through um, PayPal. And that's the only way I know of to get to that. So anyway, all right, thank you, and I am out of here. I'm stopping and just going to go sit down. Bye.